We're now going to use Python to draw a house with a roof. We're going to make the roof 8 centimeters wide and 5 centimeters high. And we're going to figure out how long to make the diagonal on the roof by using the Pythagorean theorem. So if we're going to use Python to draw a house, it's going to be nice and simple. We'll draw a house like this. And if we're to make the roof 8 centimeters wide, so that'll be 80 millimeters, 80 pixels wide, and 5 centimeters high, then we got to figure out the lengths of our diagonals. Now to complete the house, we'll also put in a door and perhaps a window, maybe a couple more. But how long do I make this diagonal? I'm calling that side C. Well, let's look for a right angle triangle. Can you see a right angle triangle like this inside the roof? It's there. It's right here. Now, that right angle triangle has a height of 5. It has a side length of C. It has a right angle here. How long is that bottom side? If the roof is 8 centimeters wide, then the half roof is 4 centimeters wide because that four represents this length from here to here. Now let's apply the Pythagorean theorem. I've got it here in case you've forgotten. A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. So in this particular example, five squared plus four squared is equal to C squared. What's five squared? And what's four squared? I got them here. 5 squared is 25, and 4 squared is 16. So 25 plus 16 is equal to C squared. 25 plus 16, do you know what that is? Try and add that yourself. 25 plus 16, 6 plus 5 is 11. 1 plus 2 is 3, plus 1 more is 4. It's 41. So that means that c squared is equal to 41. So what do you think c is? We can look up here. And 7 squared is 49. 6 squared is 36. So that means C must be somewhere between 6 and 7. It's about 6.5. All we can write down right now is that C is somewhere sandwiched in between the number 6 and the number 7. It's greater than 6 and less than 7. To find out exactly, I'll find the square root of 41. And the square root of 41 is equal to 6.4, not 6.5. So C is equal to 6.4. So now we're going to draw a house using Python. And the rules that we have are we've got to make that 8 units wide, we've got to make that 5 units high, and we want this diagonal to have a length of 6.4. So let's see if we can figure that out. So to start off with, I'm going to import turtle. T is equal to turtle. And we're going to get started drawing the house. T dot forward. And I'm going to go, remember I want this to be 8 centimeters, so I'm going to go forward 80 millimeters. Then I'm going to turn left. And I want to make this like a box, so I'm going to turn left 90 degrees. Now, how tall do I want to make it? That's up to me. Let's make it, I don't know, about five, five centimeters high. So we'll go up by 50. And then T dot left, 90 degrees. And now I'll draw the, the top part of the box. So we'll go forward 80. And let's see what happens here. Okay, so that's our 8 centimeters wide and 5 centimeters high. 
Now I'm going to draw the roof before I complete this. So in order to draw the roof, I need to go a distance 6.4 centimeters. So that's going to be 64 millimeters. So I need to turn. I'm going to go T dot right. And at this point, I need to guess how much I'm going to turn. It's going to be more than 90 degrees. Let's try maybe 110. And then I'm going to go forward 64 millimeters. That's going to give me my 6.4 centimeters. Let's see how that looks. Now, figuring out that angle exactly, you can learn to do that when you learn trigonometry. Looks like 110 degrees is not quite enough, so I'm going to try 100, 120. See if that puts me about in the middle. Yeah, pretty good. Maybe just a little bit more. 124. Okay, now I'm going to turn towards the right, and it looks like I can turn right somewhere around 80 degrees. T dot right, 80 degrees, and then I'm going to go forward another 64. Because I'm my other diagonal, having used the Pythagorean theorem, also has to be 6.4. I didn't turn right quite enough at 80. In fact, I got to go quite a bit more. So let's try maybe 120. See what happens there. 120 was too much and 80 wasn't enough. Let's try 100. It's good to guess halfway in between because as you keep going in halves, you uh, asymptotically approach the solution. Looks like 100 wasn't quite enough, so let's try maybe 104. Pretty good. Now let's make that first turn a little more. So instead of 124, let's make that a 126. There, that's pretty good. Maybe I can turn that 105 and turn that 127. Let's try there. So I've added two degrees of turn, one on each of them. And there we go. So from there, I'm going to let you complete your house. You know a little trick you could use right now? So I'll show you a few tricks to make the drawing look good. If you go T dot pen up, It'll stop leaving a line behind itself, and then you can go t dot go to zero zero. Now zero zero is going to be where I started, so that's going to bring me to that bottom corner. So it'll lift the pen up, and it'll bring me to the bottom corner. And now I can draw my line up. So it looks like I need to rotate t dot left, and I'm going to go I don't know 130 degrees. Now remember, all these angles is a little bit of guesswork for now. It'll make you appreciate trigonometry when you when you do learn it. I don't know, 135. You know, we could do this analytically by looking at all the other angles, but that's probably quicker to guess. 138. Okay, remember, 135 wasn't enough. We'll see if 138 is too much. Uh, 139 and then I'm going to go T dot forward to close off that last wall and I'm going to go forward up by 50 because that's the height of this house 50 millimeters that's our five centimeters but I didn't leave a line because before going forward I should have gone T dot pen down See, if I go T dot pen up, it stops leaving a line. It just moves the cursor. And then after I put T dot pen down, it starts leaving a line again. A little bit crooked, so I should have rotated left more than 139. So let's do a full 140. There we go. 
Just about. Excellent. Okay. So now I'm going to let you finish off the house. Let's say you want to move to draw a window more towards the center. So again, just watch how pen up and pen down work. I can go T dot pen up. So I stop leaving a line. T dot right 90 degrees. T dot forward. I don't know. We'll go forward maybe 15 units. And then I'm going to go T dot right 90 again. And T dot forward. And I'm going to go forward another 15 units here. So that's going to put the cursor right about here without leaving a line. There we go. Now I can draw my window. But before I draw, I've got to put the pen down. So T dot pen down. You need those round brackets for it to work. T dot forward. I'll go 20. And then from there, I want to go right, but it's facing down. So I actually need to rotate left. T dot left 90 and repeat. T dot forward. 20, and I'm just going to keep alternating between going forward 20 and left 90, and that'll finish the window. Show you a hack. If you go for I in range 4, it'll repeat the following instructions four times. I can go forward, turn left, and it'll do that four times in a row, and that'll complete the window. Uh, as long as I put a colon after that, an indentation in my iterated block. There we go. And if you don't get how to do that, don't worry about it. Just write forward, left, forward, left, and it'll do it. That should be a T, not an L. Easy enough to make mistakes, we all do. Okay, so then you can go T dot pen up, put in your door, you can put in more windows, you can add a chimney. It's up to you how good of a job you do on this. However, I insist that you use the Pythagorean theorem to determine the length of the diagonal so it meets the specifications. And if you're interested in showing the rest of your class, the, your house being drawn, send me the code and during our next virtual meeting that we're all together, I'll play them on here and your classmates can see your house take shape. Okay, best of luck.